Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,295. Hey, if you want to download the sort book, Excel Magic Trick 1,294 to 1,295 and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a strange video here. This is about creating random data sets, but I want to create a random column filled with transaction description codes. For each description code, we're going to have product ID, the name of the product, and the state. Here's our lookup table. And so each time we look something up, I'm going to need to get the three items from the same row. Now we're actually going to use the awesome new text join function. And I have a complete video 1281 on this new function. Now we actually could add an extra helper column here. And I'll do that even though the formula over here is not going to use this helper column. But we'll just remind ourselves of how the text join function works. Now, this is only in Excel 2016 or later. The delimiter is, as we see up here, a dash. So in double quotes, I'm going to put a dash, comma. I can choose to ignore empty cells or not. That's if there was an empty cell, for example, where the product was. If you want to ignore, you can put true one or leave it omitted. And finally, the text. Check this out. I can just highlight those three cells, and it will automatically know to put a delimiter between each one. Control Enter and copy it down. Now, of course, I could attach this to the table and then randomly choose from that column. But I didn't want to do that in this case here. So here's what I ended up doing. Equals text join. And now delimiter, still double quotes, dash, double quotes, comma, comma to ignore. And then the text, well, I need to look up the same row. So I'm actually going to use the index function to look up a row. So in the array, I give it the whole range, F4 to lock it, comma, and the row number. I need to randomly select 1 to 5. So I'm going to use the rand between function. The bottom, of course, is going to be 1, comma. And now I might, in randomizing data sets, insert more rows later. So for top, instead of typing in 6, I'm going to ask the question, how many rows are there in that first column there? F4, close parentheses. Right now, of course, it will give me 6. If I insert some more later, it will give me a way to rand between 1 and however many rows there are close parentheses. Now, that's the row number. But remember, if I look up a row, I need one, two, three columns. So the way I'm going to do that is comma. And for columns, that means all the columns I either put, and you can see over here for column, I either put a 0 or leave it omitted. And it will know to get all of the columns. Now, close parentheses on the index. That's going to be our text. In essence, index will randomly look up a row. Close parentheses, Control, Enter, and then copy it down. Control, up arrow. And so now if I hit F9, you can see it's randomly creating description codes. Now, of course, if I'm creating a random set, this would be my formula and my setup. And then later, if I wanted to use this, I would copy and paste special values. Hey, we're finding all sorts of amazing uses for the text join. All right, we'll see you next video.